Okay, so we are now in Huawei's Fusion Solar uh, reporting software for the Huawei Solar Inverters. Uh, there is an app, obviously, for Android and for iPhone, and then there's a web uh, version, and I'm just going to highlight the URL. I well, actually you've got to do the HTTPS, I guess, as well. So basically that. I shall put it in text on this video um, in a moment. Okay, so the most important thing, obviously, for you to understand about this uh, is if you haven't got it already and you've got a Huawei installation, your installer is meant to have set up the reporting for you, or rather a username and password for you, temporary password, uh, and then uh, sent you links to uh, how to get the app. So if it's an Apple phone, you get it from the iStore. If it's an Android phone or device, you get it from uh, Huawei's app gallery. So you'll have to go and search for the Huawei app gallery and then once uh, you found that you download Fusion Solar from the app gallery. You don't get it from the Android Play Store um, for political reasons I'm not going to bother wasting time with. Okay, if however you are using a, uh, a computer, Windows computer and or a browser and you can go to the screen I'm showing you now then so much the better because there's um, a lot of information. So this is the, the, the home screen where we can see that this customer has uh, made 25.72 kilowatt hours today. The weather's been very ordinary uh, today. Um, there's one, only one installation um, for this particular customer and fortunately there are no alarms. Um, here are some other bits of information. So he's got uh, 9.625 kilowatts of panels, he's got a battery installed, he's got 25 optimizers installed, current power and so forth. So let's click on that and the green uh, means that his Wi-Fi is working fine. So let's click on this. Obviously I've removed his actual name and details from here uh, for privacy reasons. All right, so now we're in the overview. We've got a sort of a real-time uh, flow chart here of what's going on from his inverter. Uh, he's drawing down currently, what is that, 4.8 kilowatts uh, uh, of power. It doesn't need to draw anything uh, into the battery because, what, it's half past two in the afternoon right now, and the battery was charged up by, you know, by 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, he has currently household loads of half a kilowatt, and therefore the balance is now being exported for his feed-in tariff back out into the grid uh, showing there. Um, if I click on each one of these little icons, I get further information as to what's going on. So let's just uh, click on the battery, for example, and we can see over here, I'll just highlight it, that he's got a 20 kilowatt hour battery. In fact, the 20 kilowatt hour battery that I briefly showed in the um, product presentation uh, earlier was his. Um, he is underutilizing his battery. I know this already. He knows this already. He doesn't need 20 kilowatt hours under his current uh, consumption in his house because he only needed to recharge it with 8.64 kilowatts overnight. Uh, so uh, a 10 kilowatt hour battery might well have been more appropriate for him, but I think he has plans for EVs and all sorts of things, so he's bought more than he needs. So if we just go down here, we're talking about ESU1, so that's the first 15 kilowatt hours of battery. And we can see various stats on not only the uh, management system, but also each of the three individual batteries in the stack. One, two, and three. And then we start on ESU2, so that's his second management system, where he's only got one battery at the moment connected. So, like I say, the point being, if you're learning this software, that if you click on an icon here, or if you're in the app, you click on the, uh, the device, if there is available information to give you, you will get that information. This customer has 25 optimizers, so he's got a 5 kilowatt inverter, he's oversized it up to 9.625 kilowatts of panels, which he's allowed to do, as I explained earlier in the video, because he has the battery. He's also got optimizers on every single panel, uh, and if you hover over the optimizers, you can see the details. This panel, this, this panel with its optimizer has produced 1.218 kilowatt hours of power today. So all very nice. If I go back again, that is kind of you know what most people are interested in. Is my solar doing what it's meant to be doing? If you want to see it 
more graphically than if I just go back a couple of days because I'm really bad couple of days weather here in Perth. So if I turn off a couple of things to start with, so if you don't have a smart meter, if you don't have the Huawei consumption meter, then all you are going to see is your PV output. You're going to see your solar generation and here we are, he's charging his battery and then after it's charged it basically holds to pretty much five kilowatts all day long because he's got that much in the way of extra panels. If you have the smart meter then you get consumption so you see exactly what electricity your house has used over the 24 hours and you get self-consumption as well which is the blue area that's where you're using your own solar power up in this case in the morning to charge the battery and then a few loads through the rest of the day and therefore if you want to know your export i.e. what you're selling back to the grid it's whatever is above the blue line and below the green line it is the, the block there that's export so this customer exported 60 percent of their power and if you can read that too well on on a video but basically of the 47 kilowatt hours he made he exported 28 and he only used up in the house 18 charging his battery and self-consumption so um, he's certainly got the opportunity to uh, use a bit more power we've got two other items here which is the battery charge i'll just turn these off just to make it clearer battery charge that's when the battery charged and by how much and here is the discharge uh, how it discharged that day and then the previous that morning so you can get a picture of you know what it's actually doing and of course you can see it by month um, depending on what you turn on you'll get more and more information appearing like that um, and you know if it's in long enough you'll get to see it by the year all right so that is really most of what people are interested in in the software um, you have a few other uh, items here if I go to plants and I go to plant management at the top here then there is the details of this particular installation and if I click on the a little edit pencil then I can go in here and set the electricity prices if they change so just to interpret this uh, you, you you may be uh, getting the same rate of power uh, you know, you know, feed in tariff all day long in Perth we have a situation where actually it's just changed it's got even worse so let's just do that now that you get 0.275 not Chinese, whatever, uh, it should be Australian dollars, I'll have to fix that up. Um, so 0 0.027 uh, from basically up until 3 p.m. And then from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. we get 10 cents. And then after 9 until midnight we get, and I'll change this again, 27 and save. Okay, so you can edit your... Oh, your electricity prices. I'm just going to see if there's anything else of great excitement in there. Uh, set other info. So you can have a picture of your your roof, and you can obviously put in the address. I've I've uh, fiddled with this. If you look looked up that longitude and latitude, it would be a uh, a business right in the middle of the Perth CBD. Because again privacy for the customer um, who's letting me play with his system like this. Okay, so if I just oops, if I just close out of that. Uh, what else can you do? Well, you've got plants, uh, device management. So if I go into device management and uh, click on the expand button, button, so there's his inverter, there's his meter, there's his battery, there's his optimizers. So if I click on the optimizers, for example, uh, and say I want to see all of them, he's got 25, so 30 to a page for that. Then I've got data on each of the individual optimizers, um, and I can... Uh, review that and then there's also further information there that I can I can see and again if I go back and select um, you know his battery and um, click on that oh we get to the same page beg your pardon and uh, inverter click on that which I don't think I need to tick it then you get uh, all the information you know what his panels are currently doing what the current is and so forth so device information um, in system, you have your personal settings. Uh, most of this other stuff is kind of just, you know, unnecessary. But personal settings, well, obviously, is where you can change things like your password, which I won't do in this case. All right, there are a few other functions that are available, funnily enough, to our customers and nobody else's, due to a little bit of a quirk in the um, the way that the old version of Fusion Solar was migrated to, th to the new. So there are some extra features uh, that I've asked uh, Huawei to make available to all. Why should we have all the fun or our clients have all the fun? Um, 
but at the moment, this is what you get in terms of the of the reporting, and it's certainly comprehensive from, uh, enough for uh, pretty much everybody. So, hope that was helpful. Bye for now.